Well, I think it first started with my son, Dustin. Of course, I was a member of the VSGA, just being a member of, of the Glenmore Country Club here in Charlottesville. But he began playing junior golf when he was nine, 10, 11 years old. And he played in a tournament when he, when he was 11 over in, in Stanton. I was impressed with uh, the VSGA's organization at that time. It seemed to me the tournament was well run. I liked the people. Uh, a fellow named Richard Smith, he was running it at that time. And I thought, uh, wow, what a, what, a, what a good group. I, I just had this interaction with people like Mike Millen and Richard Smith and thought, wow, this is a really a good group. Then I retired from working. I was in the office of admission at UVA for a long time and retired and was interested in maybe doing some other things. And, but anyway, I knew Richard White, who was the president of the VSGA then, because he'd been an official at some of the junior tournaments and I'd gotten to know him. So I wrote him um, a fairly long letter uh, outlining my interest in maybe working with the scholarship committee telling him about my background, of course, in admissions and what I might be able to contribute. One thing I've been able to contribute is, is to look more fully at each applicant. I think one of the great rewards is seeing the kinds of talent that our young people bring. And of those hundred applications or so that we read each year, the talents that I see with those young men and women is the same thing that I was seeing at UVA. They bring so much to the table. And then not just on the academic side. It's involvement in, in their communities, in their schools, uh, the thoughtfulness with which they write in their essays about their career aspirations, what they've done in golf. I enjoy some of the people on our committee now. Bob Stauffer, Sarah Robertson, uh, Debbie Spencer, uh, Lindsey Wortham, Ann Griever as well. These are all, all really good folks. <laughs>